Good morning everybody. It is Saturday morning and as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, it is game day. Game day is a big deal in our household. As you can see, one of us is representing for our team. We are up early this morning because we were heading to the grocery store to make my famous chili. So I am very excited for that. Allison woke me up out of bed at like 4.30 this morning and was like, can you please make the chili? And I was like, yes, I can do that for you. Well, uh, we're here at the store and uh, we thought it was 24 hours. It, uh, it's definitely not. It opens at 6 a.m. So uh, I guess we're coming back. Man, that poo-pooed on our parade. Some people just don't understand how excited we are on game days. I know. They need to get on our level yes, they do. and root for Michigan. No, Alright, it's been like a half hour. I'm trying this again. They're allegedly open now, so we need to get all of our stuff and get it cooking because it needs at least six hours for my recipe to get good to go. Now, I don't mean to be arrogant, <clears throat> but uh, this chili is award winning, so it's uh, contents I will be keeping secret. secret. So, catch up with you in a second. All right guys, we are back from the store. We've got all of our ingredients. We're gonna start putting this chili together now because although our teams, which I've said, obviously, I am a University of Michigan fan. Allison, however, is the Ohio State fan. So you can naturally see we are natural born enemies and the month of November in particular in this household when our teams play each other is particularly hostile. But you'll get to see that later. You just have to stick around and subscribe. So we're gonna put this chili together right now because it takes, mine takes about like six hours to make, like I said a little bit ago. So we just throw it in the pot. Chili is super easy to make and uh, get going. Oh yeah, look at that goodness, guys. Mm. Now just gotta put six hours on the clock. Six hours on low. We're good to go, babe. So I've been hanging out, working on some video stuff, and Allison has been busy fallifying our house. Some fall stuff there, over there. We've got some fall things up here, I don't know if you can see. Way to go. It's now fall in our home. Fall! It's the best. Also, we have a stupid shirt on. Best shirt on. Nah, nah, brah, nah. It's the best shirt! Oh look, they're talking about your garbage now. Not garbage. We'll find out, come November. Watching you. And to keep up the fall mood going, we actually just went to Starbucks, got Allison her pumpkin spice latte. So, she's getting her full fall fix today now that we're back. Full fall fix. The FFF, the full fall fix? Full fall fix. Full fall fix. But the reason why I wanted to jump back on the vlog for a second is to let you know something that we just found out which is really valuable information. So when we came back, we actually came back with some Euro. So I don't know if you know what Euro looks like, but it looks like this. It's just their paper money, their currency in most of Europe. When we were in Switzerland, they run on Swiss francs, it's called. They don't use euros, but in Greece and most of Europe, they, they in fact use euros, oddly enough. But what we, coming out of the international terminal in Chicago O'Hare, you're not really given an opportunity to go to a currency exchange. There's like nothing right there. It's pretty buttoned up with customs and security and stuff like that. So I think they do that on purpose. So at least we didn't see any currency exchange or anything like that. Now, when you go in the international terminal on the other side, like coming in uh, for departures, now there's like all kinds of duty freeze and stuff. Like when our when we took off, we I actually walked you through a little bit of the duty freeze. Now, if you didn't see that vlog, you can click right up here. I'll link back to that so you can see that. And in there, there are currency exchanges and things like that. I tell you all of that to let you know that we actually are members of Chase Bank here based in Chicago, and they are national, so a very, very good bank. We have nothing but great things to say about them. We do all of our business with them. But if you bring back the paper euro and you don't have an opportunity to exchange it like we did at the bank, you can take that to Chase Bank and they will take the paper money. Now, 
there are coin euro as well. So they have, what do they have? They have three, two, one coins. And I'm not sure. There's a bunch of coins and then they actually have cents. Definitely two and a one. And then there's, there's like cent coins too. So like we have in the US. But if you take the paper euros to Chase Bank, they will deposit those and exchange those at the market rate straight into your bank account. Doesn't cost you anything. Now, if you go to a currency exchanger, they make money off the margin. So based on what they, their rate is for doing the conversion plus whatever the market rate for conversion is. So you actually will lose a little money. So by bringing them straight to the bank, you will save some money. So whether it's Chase Bank like us or your own bank, be sure to ask them, just pick up the phone, give them a call and say, hey, can I deposit this, like whatever, because then there's no fee for exchange and it just goes straight into your bank account, right back in to all of your money and you don't lose nothing. So in accompaniment, accompaniment, accompaniment? Compliment? Complimentary? We'll get it someday. <laughs> so to compliment Rivers Chili, it is my job to make cornbread. And look how beautiful these babies turned out. Aww. Look at that, that one's like kind of a run. But like, look at this guy. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, it's almost chili time. All right, now that we got the cornbread done, the chili's looking good. I think it's time to eat some chili and watch some football. That's what's up. So good. So, football game's coming on right now. Michigan game. Gonna watch that for a little while. Probably gonna work on the vlog a little bit. So we will catch up with you here in a little bit. See you in a minute. All right, we are back in Michigan. Just won their game, it was a hard fought game. Probably gave up too many points, but you guys don't care, I know that. We've been busy. Since the game was on, we decided that since we're getting that new computer in which we found out what day we're gonna be getting it. Thursday, our new computer will be here. We are super excited. I can't wait to show you guys and, and tell you all about it, but because that's coming, we decided to rearrange our living room a little bit. So, a couple months ago, we actually rearranged the living room pretty significantly. So now, we actually moved that chair, used to be over against this wall, and now we put this table here, which is going to be our desk with our new computer on it, and obviously switch that with the chair. So now there's a little nook area over there and the desk and working area over here. And this is also where Allison does a lot of her like photography. We'll just like strip some stuff off the wall and it's just like a blank space and backdrop, which is really, really nice. And it actually enables us to do that quite well. We actually hooked all of the plugs up underneath the table. So you can just do that with command strips and stuff. And so it's like super easy. It makes moving all of this very, very cool because then you can just unplug it from the wall and move the table and then Allison could do her shooting. Yay. One thing that Allison and I were talking about earlier that we are gonna get back in the rhythm of now that honeymoon is over, there are no like foreseeable like major life events or trips or things like that standing in the way. So we are gonna get back in our fitness routine, eating right, meal prepping, all of that stuff. So we've made like a giant grocery list that we're probably gonna to go tomorrow and get some of that taken care of. Really emphasizing on the dinners. I feel like the lunches and the dinners, if we emphasis, put emphasis on those, that's where we cheat the most. And I feel like most of you guys can really agree with us on that. So whether you're, bless you, whether you're at, Allison's sitting right here on the couch. Whether you're at work and you had to like, forgot your lunch or you don't bring your lunch and you have to like go out and get something crap or there's not really good resources or options near you or like what totally hits us on the head is you come home from work and you're like tired and maybe you have stuff to make a good meal but then you're just lazy and like 
uh, I just don't want to do that and so then you like cheat and do other things like we just mitigate the risk as much as possible so we are definitely going to be doing that and it saves money which is like who doesn't like saving money you know what I mean so the return of good habits is going to be coming very very soon to the vlog something to look forward to also this desk space working like I would get pretty much in the zone like I was just doing a little bit of work and I like buzzed through it because there's like no distractions when the desk was over here obviously with the blinds down but like I'd look out the window all the time it faces the TV like I just would be super distracted all the time so that is gonna prove to be perfectly great for all of you, especially when I'm working on the vlogs and working on my like side projects and stuff like that. We've got so much done today, but I have to be totally honest. I didn't get as much as I was hoping to. I set my sights like very high. We are still a few vlogs behind. We still have a lot of things. So like tomorrow is our last vacation day. And in, uh, even though it's a Sunday for us, we are gonna be working extremely hard to get everything done so we're still on that like jet lag thing a little bit so it is currently like 20 after 7 right now and we're starting to like drag down lower and lower and lower so we got to stay up though because that's how you're going to beat this is staying up so we're going to stay up a little bit i'm going to work try to get one more vlog cranked out and then tomorrow we'll only have a couple to catch up for you guys and i'll like crank through those so Things to look forward to. The branding on the channel is gonna be changing soon. Remember, if you didn't see that vlog where we made that big announcement in Greece, you can go ahead and click up here. But this channel will be changing. It'll be changing to, from Riv, which it is right now, to Riv and Al. So, for Allison and I. I have a sore throat. You have a sore throat? Yeah. Oh no. I know. Not good. At least you went on vacation and then you got the sore throat after. Oh no, I have to stay home because I'm sick. <laughs> Immediately after vacation. Right. And then you have a friend up here too. I do. Hi, Anna. So we're going to go ahead and end the vlog right here, guys. Thanks so much for sticking with us. We really appreciate all your love and support. Please give this video a thumbs up. Check out all of our travel vlogs that I've been referencing. If you, if you haven't seen any of those, go ahead and click up here in the corner. If you're on mobile, tap the screen and click the eye. You can check those out. We had so much fun in Greece and we will see you tomorrow. Thanks a lot guys and be sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye.